Hi guys, it's me, Boo. And Dad. From Boo and Dad TV. Right. And today we're going to be reviewing the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan. Yes, we're really excited about this figure. He's an oldie but a goodie. But first, we have some announcing to make. Oh yeah, Boo wanted to talk about this. We actually got a new computer. Yes, we got us a new uh, uh, computer for uh, Boog and Dad TV uh, with HD camera. So uh, you might notice us playing around a little bit trying to get uh, all the adjustments right and stuff. But um, hopefully this helps uh, our videos a little better and a new microphone. So maybe that will help you can uh, hear us a little better well, too. hear me. Yeah, because on our old computer we were definitely having some problems with the mic. So. Well, uh, and we did not have touchscreen. That was Dad's biggest problem. <laughs> yeah, that was a real pain. So we have upgraded to the touchscreen. All right, so enough about computers. Uh, that's not what we do here. We're back to the fun stuff. Which is the Hulk Hogan WWE action figure. Right. And as you can see, this is from the Defining uh, Moments, Moments line. line. And uh, probably should have done some more homework on this one because I'm not sure... Exactly. It, it's not new. I'm not sure. Well, it's, it's new in the package, but I'm not sure how long this has been out. Do you know, Boog? Maybe I'll tell us at the bottom. Any idea of a date there? 2014. Okay, yeah. So this is a 2014 uh, Defining Moments uh, action figure. So this is uh, 2020, so about six years old. Uh, Boog's one. Boog has had one in his collection for a long, long time. Um, we, uh, we have, what do we have? Two Hulk Hogan's, maybe? Mm. For some reason, since Boog's been collecting for the last probably four years, uh, Hulk doesn't pop up that often, uh, you know, for us to find. So um, it's kind of rare. And uh, anyway, he's been wanting to add this one to the collection. Um, it comes with uh, the original WWE uh, Championship. I guess maybe the, they call it the Hogan title. One second. From uh, the very uh, early 80s. Uh -huh. And... Um, so I think uh, uh, this is definitely um, needed to be in our collection. Boog has a lot. He collects a lot of wrestling figures. Sorry we haven't covered that, a whole lot of those on the channel yet. We're getting to them. Um, so, uh, but we just got him in, so we thought you know we'll definitely get him up, get him posted, and unbox and stuff, and let you guys check him out. So the definitive edition, 2014 Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Uh, look at the box here. Got a nice classic look of Hulkster here on the side. Um, some looks like some old style wrestling dudes here on the bottom. Here's There's back. the back. Google read you the synopsis here. Which actually, this attire is based off WrestleMania 3. Same picture here. Yeah, and he's definitely the, wearing the WrestleMania 3 attire uh, where he um, um, slammed Andre. Right? At, well, he beat Andre after a 15 year undefeated streak. Yes, and Boog will get over that. So, you want to go ahead and read the back there? Yes, with 93,173 streaming fans inside the the Pontiac Silverdome, a world indoor attendance attendance recording at the time. Record at the time, yes. Record at the time. The main event of Resume 3 was one for the ages. WWE Champion Hulk Hogan faced off against his one-time friend, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Yes. Undefeated in his 15-year career. Oh, I lost it. Andre dominated the early minutes, but after an Irish whip sent Hogan into the ropes, the champion responded with a clothesline that dropped the Giant to the canvas. The seven, the seven foot four Andre Andre rose up, but Hogan shocked the world. Just moments later, body body slamming the massive five hundred twenty pound giant. One leg drop later, Hulkster got the history making pin. Right, right. So this was I can remember being. Uh, I was of course a little kid, probably. What 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 year did it say it was? Um. WrestleMania three, WrestleMania. early eighties. I was probably five or six years old uh, when this match happened. I definitely remember it. Got awesome memories. Um, I thought, man, this is wrestling's a big deal because I can remember it being on the uh, the late night news. Uh, even they were talking about it after it happened. The slam heard around the world, uh, and yeah. Hogan was just about to uh, hit the peak. I think of his popularity, and Andre was the perfect villain. 
uh, for him to face off against there. And I would say that, that match by itself probably uh, put wrestling, I think, uh, professional wrestling on the map for um, uh, the world, really. So just that, that one single match, that was such a big deal back then. And uh, and now it's probably responsible for, for the way wrestling is today uh, and all the popularity it's had since then because that, that got people's attention. Right, Boog? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Boog is uh, getting him opened up here. Or at least trying to. Right, trying to work on it. Now, Mattel does a really, really good job uh, since they've had the uh, the line of uh, WWE figures. Oh, the license? Yeah, the license for the line. Uh, I think before that it was Jack Specific. We do have some of those, and they're not bad. But Mattel's done a really good job with it with most of the stuff, especially their elite versions, which I, I believe that's what this is going to be. Um, uh, just uh, with uh, really getting the characters down, the likenesses, um, the, uh, the attire, the outfits and stuff, they're just... Uh, Light years better than the little guys that, uh, that, oh, I can't say the little guys, but the figures I had when I was a kid, they, they were, were, uh, weird. ones I had were big, uh, were like big rubber statues, no articulation. Well, actually, um, the, the one that Jack Pacific, they were way out of proportion. Uh, now, the, oh, you're talking about Jack Pacific, like, yes. Like, let's say that they made an Enzo, he would be looking very strong. Yeah, the Jack Specific figures were lo definitely larger uh, and made with a, a shinier plastic than what Mattel uses. Um, but again, I don't think they're bad figures. boo has got boo has got several of those, and they're they're getting on up there in age now, and they've held up well. But they're just it's just different. You can't it, you can use them with the Mattel figures, but you're gonna have a, a a definite size difference. One thing that I think is uh, great that Mattel does is they uh, uh, they do a really good job of um, getting the sizes right. So, um, if you take a Mattel, you know, uh, Hogan and a Mattel Enzo and put them together, uh, Hogan's obviously going to be a lot bigger than Enzo. Same thing, if you put Hogan next to a Mattel Andre, Andre is uh, definitely, yeah, bigger than, than Hogan. Um, and, and that's kind of how you'd want uh, to, to make it realistic, for sure. Because uh, that's the way it is in real life, right? Andre was uh, biggest one of the biggest wrestlers ever. I guess the only one close would have been... Uh, what Big Show maybe? Yeah, and I big don't shift. don't don't think he was really even that close to being as big as Andre, at least not weight wise. All right, so I think we've about got Hogan out of the box here. Okay. He was getting off some band, some uh, uh, rubber bands, and let's yeah. show him off. Shall we do a little theme song here? Yes, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'll boot do the introduction here. Are you ready? It's a juicy. Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> All right. That was bonus. Let's bring him on out. All right. It's time. Introducing. Introducing the champion. Right. WB champion. Go ahead, Boo. All right, he's ready. Here he comes. Introducing the new WWF champion, Hulk Hogan. There he is, folks. Wow. Check him out. The defining moments, Hulk Hogan from 2014. Man, this is a good looking figure. Uh, we are not disappointed. And he actually has four accessories. Four accessories, huh? All right, what do we got, Boo? This is the, the one that we really wanted. Yes. We have a lot of uh, championship titles in our collection, but we did not have this one. But Daddy actually Mainly because the only way you can get this title is, is with this figure. figure. So, there it is, folks. That is the uh, WWF yeah, Heavyweight yeah. Championship from the very early 80s. Which actually... Well, I'm going to cut, cut down Holster's music here, just to, so you can hear us, but that is it, there's the backside, and uh, yeah, this is, uh, Boog likes getting these titles just as much as he likes getting the figures, and that is a great one that uh, we do not have in our collection, 
until now. But now it's in there. What a yeah. title. Wow. And, that is super cool. Um, guys, um, this WWF championship was, um, was actually awesome. This was um, the first time it, this title was showed on television. It might have been the only time it was shown on television. Was the was at WrestleMania three because uh, Bobby the Brain he didn't had this belt made because he was confident that Andre would beat Hulk Hogan. Oh really? And at, um, so it was kind of bigger. Okay, yeah, the 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 old yeah the the earlier championships were a little sketchy. I know, like the first one Hogan won from Iron Sheik was green. Was green with whoo. Four side plate. Yeah, I don't well, know. Actually, uh, on both on both sides. All right, let's get Hogan up here, both, so they can see him. Well, I'm trying to shift the accessories. I don't know if um yeah I don't know if Mattel's even made that one or not. Uh, we'd have to do some research. All right, so you have a removable um bandana here. Yeah. Sorry, got a bit of a glare. Let's try to take that out so you can see it. Hulkamania on the top. And it's just kind of, it's kind of open face, so it just kind of sits up on his head there, which is kind of cool. All right. And next up, we have, oh, yes. All the little Hulkamaniacs out there, say your prayers and eat your vitamins. We've got his crucifix with the gold chain. Very nice. Totally signature Hulk Hogan. All right. What else do you got on, Big? But more signature. Ah, and the removable, the rippable Hulkamania t-shirt. Dad, right, Dad, please try to imitate that. <laughs> well, I guess Dad was a really... What are you going to do, Andre, when Hulk Hogan runs wild on you? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to take this off now. All right, yeah, he's going to pull the... Uh, Pull the shirt off here. I promise you we're going to give you a look at the action figure here just as soon as he uh, gets this done. Just oh, get shit. through the accessories here first. There is the Hulkamaniac uh, shirt. Of course, got it where it's removable. He can rip it off. And since obviously this is for play, we can actually put it back on. <laughs> Very cool. All right, Boog, I do expect you to keep up with these accessories. Yeah. I'll try my best. All right. I'll put a shirt down here. Well, you know, we'll definitely keep tacking. All right. The here he comes, folks. So now we got to kind of get uh, accessories off. We get a good look at the figure, see what it looks like and all. Um, I think this is. Get the light adjusted. I think this is great. This is, looks like a really, really good figure um, from what I see here from the backside. We'll bring him in closer. Which, um, I do believe. Um, can see the head sculpt. That, um, this will not be on Boog and Dad TV, just for a warning. Um, when me and Dad play with our figures, um, I think this is the attire Hogan might be wearing when he faces Macho Man at, um, at our WrestleMania yeah. 30. So he's elite. He's got the mid, the mid, uh, the mid flex there. What do well, they call that, Boog? Um, ab crunch. Right. They nailed the face scan is excellent. That looks just like a young Hulk Hogan. Um, only thing I see about it's a little odd is the top there of the haircut. It's a little weird. Uh, kind of got a little comb over thing going on, as you can see. Um, that's be my only gripe that I can see about the whole action figures. Seems like they could have done something a little, a little with that, but, uh, hey. Other than that, this figure is great. Of course, he's wearing the classic yellow trunks. Uh, got on the red knee pads, the boots. Yeah, it, it looks amazing. The white wrist tape. I think they hit it all, Boog. Yeah. All right, we'll turn it over to you, and uh, you got got the look there. But yeah, that face scan is just really good. That looks just like Hulkster from back then. All right, Boog, go ahead. Tell them what you like about it. Yeah, I think we need a comparison first. To the Funko Pop? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Funko Pop versus uh, Mattel. Um, action figure. Action figure Hulk Hogan. All right, but yeah, I'm really loving this figure a lot. All right, Boog, go ahead and go over it. Let them know what you think about it. Really, this is kind of more your your deal here. I really like this figure. Um, I really like the figure part, and I like that it also came with a championship I didn't have. He also does have his signature trunks. Right. Which we did not actually have a figure out with him in the trunks. Yeah, and of course, not of course. This I'm sure this figure brand new was 19.99. Uh, 
it being six years old and uh, we can't find it anymore. Uh, we ended up getting it off of eBay. Well, 2014, you, not 1999. No, it was, I'm sure it cost 1999. Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was made in 2014. So we got it off of eBay and I think we paid with shipping about $50, um, which is of course a little more than double what it cost originally. But for some of this stuff, if it's uh, every now and then we'll do that. If it's something that's super rare that, um, you know, we're probably not going to, uh, be able to get because honestly i don't know what's going on with the hogan figures right now he's been back with WWE for it seems like at least a year uh but we haven't seen anything um coming with him unfortunately so uh, i don't but know what they're going to do but... i guess they could always re-release this it'd be cool if they did but i don't see anything in the near future that's going to happen so that makes me think it's going to happen so we went ahead and just uh pull the trigger on it uh but anyway uh, this has been oh this has been a long video we're already 15 minutes all right um, well, we better wrap it, it does up have also he pretty much has his signature attire, which luckily he does have the armbands that the Mystery Mini does not have. Good point. Mr. Mini, yeah, did not come with the armbands. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the, um, what's it called again, boo? The Defining, Defining Moments, Moments Hulk Hogan uh, sure. from the early 80s, WrestleMania 3 version. Take care, everybody, and okay, we'll see guys. you on the next one. Oh, yeah, hit the like Thank button. It does help for sure. Yeah. Make sure to okay, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Boogie Dead TV for some more awesome toy fun. Bye. See you later.